So dsum is just one database function. There's actually a handful of them that you can use. And they're very similar to some of the more standard type of functions that you use inside of Excel. We just saw dsum, previous lecture. Now let's take a look at another very common function, but we're gonna add the D to it, the database, which gives us the ability to add a condition. We're gonna take a look at a function here called D average. And if you took part in the previous lecture where we talked about D sum, it's practically identical. The only difference is you're not summing, you're averaging. So take a look. I've created a, a little placeholder information here for me to, to perform this calculation. But now I wanna get the average expense, remember total expenses here. I wanna get the average expense for the category of rent. So I'm gonna click over here to I8 and I'm gonna create this calculation. So once again, back to formulas, back into insert function, and I wanna find the D average. Let's spell that the right way. D average, I'll hit go. There's my D average. So this is gonna average the values in a column in a list or database that matches the conditions you specify. Just like D sum, but we're now averaging. So I'll hit okay. This is exactly the same as the D sum. First thing, database. Okay, I'm gonna go grab my entire database, which was from A1, control shift down arrow, control shift right arrow, to F59. I've now grabbed my entire list. Remember, control shift in your arrow keys. Well, field, remember this one? This is which column or field do you want to actually average? In my case, I'll grab F1 and my criteria. Well, I don't wanna average all of total expenses. I only wanna average where category equals rent. So I'll grab my header there and the condition, H7 through H8. And that's it. I'll hit okay. And I've now got the average rent, total expense rent, throughout my entire list. Let's try changing it. Let's go from rent to copying. I'll hit my enter key. $11,630 for average expense for copying throughout all my different divisions within this list. So just like the D sum, the only difference is we're not summing, we're now averaging. So once again, try this out. You get to get some practice in there. You nail down one of these, you're gonna know how to work with all of them. And in the next lecture, we're gonna take a look at one more database function.